A very good afternoon from here in the centre of Gibraltar. This evening we're going to take a stroll around Gibraltar. A very good morning from here in Gibraltar. A very good morning guys from here in Casemate Square. So, very good afternoon guys from me here in Gibraltar on a footbridge that crosses over Winston Churchill Avenue. And today's video is going to be a guide on how to get from the border to the city centre and the relevant hotels on foot guys and it is an absolute scorcher today it's the 15th of april and it's 26 degrees guys so come on let's go out and enjoy the sun so this shot is for my mate tga who was recently over in gibraltar and done a series auditing the various emergency services here so check that out guys but here we are at the border and this is the perfect place today to start our guide so guys, the passport you bought off the black market has worked, so you managed to get yourself into the UK. Let me show you where you need to go when you cross that threshold and you make it into Gibraltar. Come join me. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to the major hotels on foot, but you do have the option of taxi from the border or you can take the bus. The bus is probably quicker as the taxis normally take three hours or so. But yeah, we cross the St Christopher's Gate you can tell it's summer here in Gibraltar when the mirages start appearing at the end of the runway. Now, I've never tested whether the camera can pick up the mirages, but let's give it a go. You'll have to squint as the zoom is terrible, but yes, you can make out it looks like a small pool of water on the tips of the runway. So the mirages are caught on camera, and if you have a better camera, you'll get a better shot. So when you come to this point here, after crossing the runway, you've got three choices as to where to go. You can go straight on which is going to take you into town, you can go left, which is going to take you up to the Holiday Inn and the Catalan Bay and all these places, or you can go right and it's going to take you to Ocean Village. So for this first part, let's go left. Come join me. So this is the first major roundabout you reach when you get into Gibraltar after crossing the runway. And that will be our starting point today. Now I want to show you on the map where you need to go from the border and it's only a 15 minute walk, so yeah. The worst thing about coming out and doing a video at this time of day is that I see quite a lot of people I know. It's five o'clock in the evening, so everyone's leaving Gibraltar and going home to Spain. And most people don't know about my little double life on YouTube, so most people just think I'm being dodgy when I'm hanging around the border and that. But anyway, let's continue on to Holiday Inn. And yeah, what a gorgeous day it is. So it really is just a couple of minutes walk from that round out, our starting point for these videos and you make it here right to the front of the Holiday Inn Express and look at it here in the beautiful sun. So this place here is probably the closest place geographically to stay to the airport and I've stayed in here before and do you know what, it's alright, ain't bad. I stayed in here when my friend came to visit a couple of years ago, I think it was actually before Covid. But anyway, let's continue. And it's back to our starting point, the roundabout after the runway. So guys, now we're going to take the direction on the right hand side and we're going to head over to Ocean Village and show you how to get there via walking guys. And today it's really really hot but tomorrow it's going to be even hotter, it's going to be 30 degrees guys. So don't do like me and we're telling accelerator, slap on the old saint instead guys, come on. So let's look at Google Maps once again. I put the pinpoint as the Sunborn, the Yacht Hotel, and it says it's an 18 minute walk from the border. So let's continue our walk, and we're going to go past the Victoria Stadium and the World Trade Centre here on this beautiful day. I can't get over this little heat wave. Now, it's not just here in Gibraltar, but it's all over the Iberian Peninsula. And there are places up in the north that have never been this hot as they are in the next couple of days with places in the Pyrenees reaching 33 degrees in April. That's absolutely madness when you think about it. But come on guys, let me show you the entrance into Ocean Village. So, let's take this little shortcut past the Tesco's and into the village. So here we are guys, we've made it here to Ocean Village. Now Ocean Village is really significant when it comes to staying in Gibraltar because it is the home of the Boat Hotel, which we're going to walk past now, but also there are numerous Airbnbs in all of these buildings here in Ocean Village. So the chances are if you're staying somewhere on the cheap, it could be in one of these, or maybe you're staying somewhere expensive, still could be in one of these houses. So yeah, 
let's have a quick look around and I'll show you where you need to go and then we'll head back to the final point and I'll show you how to get back through the city centre. Come on. So we can see the boat hotel over there and we can also see these apartments where most of the Airbnbs are. So there we are, those are the places you need to go if you're staying here in Ocean Village. But now we're going to go back to the starting point and I'm going to show you how to get to the city centre, so come join me. So once again, we've arrived back at the roundabout. You can see how the sun is disappearing as the day goes on. So guys, we're back in our start position here, just across from the runway. And now I'm going to show you how to walk from here to the city centre and go into the city centre hotel. So we're going to stop by the Elliot. We're going to stop by the Bristol and I'll show you where the hostel is as well. So we are reverting back to Google Maps once again. And this is very important to note. The first hotel we're looking at is the Elliot. And now the second hotel, this one, is the Bristol. But they both take the same amount of time to get to. Okay, guys, so it is taking around about... 29 minutes although if you've got faster legs that could take a little bit quicker so the moorish castle looks beautiful there as we make our way through the tunnels and into casemate square so here we are guys and if you don't know where we are right now then you've never been to Gibraltar or you've never watched this channel right now we're in casemate square and this is the central square of gibraltar so the first place i'm going to show you where to get to it's up to the youth hostels. Come on guys, let me show you where it is exactly. So we're at the main taxi rank here at Casemate Square and we have to make our way up this little slope and you will find the youth hostel right at the top of the slope so it's pretty easy to find and if you're staying here it's probably the most central location. But yeah, just having a little look around the perimeter. So guys, that was the youth hostel and if you're staying here, well, Good luck to you. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to head back onto Main Street and we're going to visit our last two hotels. So the chances are you're probably going to be staying in one of these districts that I've covered in this video. And I hope this guide is helping you. But come on, let's get back on the track because I've only got 10% battery. Let's do this. The battery on this device goes extremely quick now, especially when using the camera setting. But now we stumble across a site that truly breaks my heart. That proper takes the piss, in it? Did you see all that shit there? From the uh, Holland and Barrett store, I think it was. They leave all that there, nothing happens. I leave one carry bag out, I get a 250 pound fine. But I guess that's Gibraltar, come on guys. That really wound me up because it was outside the dispo rubbish disposal times. Let's forget about that and take a look at the Elliott Hotel as we have arrived here to this impressive building. I can't really say too much about the Elliot. I've never actually stayed there, although I have sat up by the pool area a few times. But yeah, it's quite a nice place. But our next location is only a stone's throw away from here. So let's head to the Bristol Hotel. Come on. Just gonna run down the ramp. I really can't believe how long it's taken to do this video today. I am absolutely sweating. We've been out a good few hours. But at least from the Elliot, it really is only a minute's walk to the Bristol Hotel, which is good because I've only got 5% battery left. In fact, I don't know if it's going to last to make the arrival. But let's see. Let's see how we do. And the distance between these hotels really is minimal. Just Main Street in the way and we have arrived here. So guys, I hope you found that guide very, very helpful. This is the Bristol, the last stop behind us. And these are the main hotels really in Gibraltar. I probably missed one or two, but I'm just trying to get the majority here. And it's a reason to come out and have a walk on this beautiful day. But from me here in the centre of Gibraltar, thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you all on the next adventure.